Hi guys, my name is Gaurav and you're watching FI Shah Games. So today we are going to review another icon which is added as a SBC in EFC 24. So this is Centurion's icon Vidage. I have already made a review on the 87 version of this Vidage card. And if you want to check out that uh, review as well, please click on the link above. And uh, his pace guys, his pace is decent. Shooting not that great. Passing is decent, vision is less. Dribbling, he doesn't feel horrible on the ball. Defending wise, he's super solid. Physicality is also excellent. So uh, there is not a major difference between the, the two cards, the 87 version and this version. Uh, there is only a plus one upgrade like pace is plus one, defending plus one and physicality is also plus one. Uh, he cannot play any other any other position other than the CB position. His height is very good for a CB, medium high work rate, two star skill move, three star weak foot. He is a lengthy and he is a lengthy on a shadow as well. Preferred foot is right. Play styles, he has got power header, bruiser, slide tackle plus, block and jockey. He has got acrobatic and aerial as well. So he has got some decent play styles as well. Guys, I'll be testing this card for a couple of games. And as I have used his 87 version for almost like 50 matches or more than that. So after using him for a couple of games, I can decide better that which card is better. Like, of course, this card will be better. But like, what is the difference between both these cards? So is it worth it to grind for this version as well if you have already got the 87 version? I'll be testing him out and then we can find better. So let's just jump into the gameplay and then I'll be back with the review. That was not good by uh, Vidic. Nice header by Vidic. Good work by Vidic. Let's try out Vidic, how he plays. Let's mark the opponent's player. Okay. Let's look at his AI. He is so far uh, being decent. Ah, nah, man. I don't know how Madison won header from Virgil. Vidic. Decent. But it's let's try pace. Wow, pace was good there, man. Pace was good. Passing not that good. James. Vidic, nice, nice. Good work by Vidic. Let's cross. Switch the play. Nice, nice pass. Nice pass. Goal. Vidic, can he win the header? Yes, good, good, good header by Vidic. Vidic. And the founders come up. Cool. Eduardo. Good work by Vidic there. The Decent pass. Good run. Vidic, Nine let's see if we can cross situation. stop that cutback. Good, good, good tackle by Vidic. Good let's good see how Vidic performs here good interception like his jockeying is nice let's see how Vidic does here good good tackle by Vidic and unlucky this bounce back guys this this is this is not a, what a glitchy goal man this is the problem with this game that's offside bro Good work by Vidic there. Nice work by Vidic. Let's see what Vidic does. Are Vidic. That was almost an own goal. Bro, this game. Let's see. Good, good tackle by Vidic. Good tackle by Vidic. Let's try a sliding tackle with him. Oh, superb, superb slide by Vidic. Superb, superb. Let him run, let him run. I want to see how Vidic uh, tackles him. That was again nice, nice work by Vidic. Didn't win the ball there, but... Nice tackle. Again, man, slides, slides are coming off pretty nicely. Like that, he was nowhere near the ball, but still manages to do that sliding challenge. So, guys, after using Vidic for four matches, what I have observed is this card is actually fantastic to use in the meta of the gameplay. Like, uh, definitely a top tier center back. 
and uh, what what difference i felt between the 87 and the 88 version is that guys his pace is slightly better than the last version defending wise he is similar like that guy was also cracked and uh, defensively he was a beast like he he was maintaining his positions he was doing those tackles and coming uh, those tackles were coming off pretty nicely flight tackles were also great with this card as well like heading wise he was winning the headers same case with that card as well he was also winning the headers only only difference between the two cards what i felt is like uh, this card's pace is slightly better than the other one that is the only difference otherwise and and that is not like a humongous difference slightly better in pace wise otherwise defending wise they both feel the same and uh, yeah it is a pretty cracked card and definitely top five center backs right now in the game so uh, what i would suggest is guys if you have the 87 version you don't need to have this 88 version as well because there is not a humongous difference between the two cards and uh, if you don't have that 87 version then definitely do this spc uh, because uh, yeah, Blanc and uh, Vidish both are uh, perfect pairs. Uh, somehow Blanc is feeling a little bit nerved right now. Maybe EA has done it on purpose because this is the new card which came. So EA wants to push those SBCs. And maybe that's why they have nerfed that card. But uh, all in all, this card is pretty cracked right now. And if you want to go for it, just go for it. You won't be disappointed. This card is actually nice. And the SBC is somewhere around 450 or 500k which is not bad for a meta center back because in this game defending is horrible and if you have someone in your team who can defend well and make those tackles and win the ball winning the ball is the only problem in this game like you can tackle but you don't win the ball because the ball just keeps on sticking to the feet of the opponent striker or it just bounces to the other guy who uh, like opponent's other player so winning the ball is the major issue and he was winning the ball so that is what you need from a center back so uh, all in all, excellent, excellent card to have in your team, man. Uh, with uh, VVD and uh, Vidic's pair is just stunning. And uh, well, that's the review for Vidic. Just go for this card if you don't have the 87 version or if you don't have Blanc and uh, uh, Van Dyke in your team. And still, if you want to, uh, like if you have Blanc or VVD and want a new center back in your squad, then this card is excellent to use. So that's the review for Vidic, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe it guys, please support the channel, help us reach 3.5k subscribers, we are doing a giveaway at 3.5k subs. And the link of that giveaway video is given in the description, please make sure to check that as well. Uh, if I have missed out on something about Vidic, mention in the comment as well. And if you want to know anything else about this card of the 87 version, please do mention that as well in the comment section. And if you have missed out on the video of that 87 version Vidic, click on that link and you will come to know how good that card is. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much. My name is Gaurav. You are watching a Paisha game. Bye. Peace.